Hello and welcome, my name is Minturis and welcome to this preview of Nova Drift. Nova Drift is a top shooter space arcade game and it kind of reminds me of Asteroids. Yeah, I'm that old. Asteroid was a game in 1979. It was one of those games that got you kind of hooked. And later on, Xbox and Microsoft did it all over with Geometrics Wars. So, if you don't know what Asteroid is, it's this game. And Geometric War is this game. And this game is kind of similar. Nova Drift has its own distinction, but it's got a lot of possibility. This is still an early access key that was given to me by the developers. And it distinguished itself by, well, the enormous way of possibilities. As you can see, you got all kind of special things you can unlock. Super mods, I haven't unlocked them even. But the fun part starts with this. Every time you start this game, it's starting with random basic gear in this first line. So I tried the real gun. It's a lot of fun. Uh, blasters, I haven't seen that one yet. Uh, weapon grenade, haven't tried that one. Torment is not my favorite one. And flank, I also tried. This is a lot of fun. Then you got... The second level you get to pick your special build style. So standard body and then you got like the assaulter. You got the stealth. Stealth I like a lot because I like to hide. I'm a sneaky guy. And well the next thing body engineers and sentinels. And then you can pick your shield type. So that's all comes into place. And then you get your random picks from all these skills. And remember this is early alpha. So there's much more to come in this game. So let's check it out. Let's scroll all the way back up and let's start the game. Let's show you some gameplay. I unlocked the dangerous zone. Well, I'm going to unlock it now because, well, I you get extra bonus uh, score and some experience, but I really want to show you some gameplay and it's getting really hard with this. So, well, first thing I'm going to show you endless mode let's start the game all right this is my little plane you do your trusses with the a key and you fire with the s but you can also stay in the middle and kind of shoot everything that comes on you and at first thing this this kind of oh yeah i do need to pick up some some of these stuffs at first sight this looks kind of easy but as you can see I already leveled up I'm going to kill the enemy first and then we're going to check it out so I got the possibility to do the uh, pulse weapon or the real gun or the grenade well I'm going to go with the real gun it's kind of a sniper so if this thing is going automatic so I need to speed up my fire rate and now the second thing what are we going to pick hull breaker sentinel uh, enhanced shield damage resistance shield effect and radius of the shield effect or are we going for fragile with improved weapon spread and velocity uh, that's kind of tempting because a real gun is not that strong well, well, I'm going to try the Sentinel. I haven't tried this one. Rate of fire minus 10. So we do need to do something about that in the near future. But we are leveling up pretty fast. Oh man, I like this already a lot. Normally I play like the uh, stealthy guy. But, well, it looks kind of easy at the moment. But I've been practicing a lot. So now at least I know what I'm doing. Come on. And oh, I do need to pick up those points. Whoa. That was kind of problem. And 
We get another level up and now we get the shield. So we can do the halo, the shield warp that's going to teleport you when you destroy it. The shield teleport will distantly kind of equal. And we got reflection. 900% damage. I kind of want to do the halo because I, I like the halo a lot. Look with the halo. These little ships will burn. And I can focus on the big one. And oh, this is hard shooting those one. All right, we can do. We can also do like uh, a lot of drone stuff. That that's also an ally. An ally can be handy. So I definitely want to pick that one. But there are a lot of tempting because increasing weapon velocity, improving target age, and blaze blast radius. You can also go now and change your gear. But well, I don't recommend it at the moment. All right, let's let's try this one. Oh, uh, I really need to be able to shoot faster, but as you can see, my ally is helping me a lot. I like that guy, so we definitely need to upgrade. We need to pick up those points because, well, I need to get the points. Come on. And we got another level up. So what are we going to do? We got the ally level one nanotech. Your ally can structure to regenerate hull time. Oh, that's also pretty handy. And the halo is pretty helpful. Need to upgrade that as well. Let's see how fast we can get this sucker down. Oh, I need to get out of there. But at the moment, I got a pretty good build, but remember the builds are kind of random, so you aren't always that lucky. All right, magnitude is kind of interesting. Weapon side, blast radius, rapid fire. I don't need the rapid fire because, well. Shooting faster will definitely help my railgun. Normally I would go behind these guys because I'm with stealth. Alright, let's do another upgrade. Double team. Uh, you are allowed to focus fire on the one you do. Well, I don't really need that burst fire. Your gun adds. That's kind of interesting. But also annoying because now I shoot a little bit slower. At least I have the feeling I shoot slower. I do shoot a bit more. And whoa, alright, that's a random event. Alright, need another upgrade. Let's see. And. This way my ally is going to get some extra stuff. Uh, oh well, I guess we unlock mods for specialized type. Alright, now we need to take down two big ones. That big one is pretty badass. And I definitely need more shield. Was I shield focused or not? I don't even remember. Oh, I like the weapon self. Oh, that, that's one skill I like. As you can see on the sidebar, it got all... You can see I can got it once to two rows. Pretty nice. Oh, this is also nice. I kind of need the shield at the moment. Oh, and that got me killed. I didn't focus on that part. All right, so now you kind of progress in the game, and that's the fun part, because every time you play this game, you will unlock new things. I'm now level nine at the moment, and well, I unlock special things, and let's do my initials. Meant I can only put three. I should have put four, because men is like men and not meant. 
So this is kind of how I want to show you the game. Me at an end game. This is what I look like at the moment. I got a pretty long uh, skill tree at the moment. And I've been playing for 11 minutes in this game. You can see it down below. And well, I love this build already because this is kind of, ooh, there's something incoming. Don't want to die because of that. I like this drone build. Whoa. Just because it's one hell of an amazing build. That's a pity because all those skill trees are going to the other way as well. But this is kind of what the game is all about. I finally got a build that's definitely working for me. And it is, well, pretty good defensible build. And I love me. It, it, it's amazing. Oh, there's another end boss. I need to... Oh, I need to take you out first because you are kind of dangerous. This is one hell of a fight it's going to be. As you can see in the top bar, it's his health, life, and it's he's taking down all my drones. He is definitely doing it the right way. And I hope I'm going to live this because, well, oh man. And let's upgrade again. Oh man, look at this, look at this. I am doing great. Now, every now and then you come through a skill that, that's a little disadvantage. But, well, you have to pick something. At the moment, this is right nice. That's also nice. Already unlocked the fleet, so doing more drone damage is always nice. Oh, shoot. I need to stay... Oh man, that was a close one because I didn't. Holy macaroni, that was a lucky one. But immediately you get another challenge. The improved hull. Oh my god, this is truly really the end game. Well, I'm I'm not even close to the end game yet. I'm saying that, but it's not true. Oh man, what am I going to pick? I don't like this rapid blast. But, well, getting more energy is always nice. And this is... Oh, uh, that wasn't the smart thing to do. Alright, we finally... Lowering his... Need to get... Oh man, come on. Oh yeah, and a lot of points. Taking down the big ones first because those are kind of the most dangerous ones. Kind of want to take you down first. Upgrade, upgrade. I need health. Uh, as passive re shield regeneration, I definitely need that. You do can trick the AI, AI a bit, but I'll think they are going to fix that. I need more drones because I'm a drone guy. I'm definitely a drone guy and I need to pick up all these. I'm already at wave 75. Oh my god. It's truly getting crazy now. Oh man, I love this game. This is so addictive. I've been playing for over two hours now. So this is just to show you what the end game is like. Just to, well, oh damn these. Holy macaroni, what the? Need to split that one up. Ah, that's hurt, that hurts. No, come on, come on. I need my shield back. Oh man. Well, as you can see, it's a lot of fun and that's what this game is all about. So we're going to try it one more time and let's see how far we can get. Because, well, this this game is truly addictive. It, it is. It is. Really is. 
kind of going to try to get a different build now to show you guys. I kind of want to show you my salvo build. Right? Let's see. Oh, I'm lucky salvo. <laughs> I, I really like the salvo build. On the uh, on YouTube, the creators uh, have uh, one guy trying all type of builds, so that's also nice to look. I put a link to him in the links down below, and that way you can check that out. I also have a friend of mine, Blissful Kitty, who is also doing this game. Got a key from the developers, and I will also put her link down below so you guys can see some more gameplay of this game because well. I really need to load my. Oh man, I'm not doing that bad, that good at the moment. All right, now, all right. This is this is kind of fun part because now I can go like in stealth mode. And I can kind of hide from them. Another level up. So now I'm going to do target. This one reflects enemy weaponry with a boost power enemy within the shield effect radius target 900% extra damage. So that's an interesting one. These these enemies are kind of annoying because well you need to take him down. I kind of need to load up my gun. Oh man, I need to load up my shield. Else I'm going to die again. I kind of need to upgrade that. That's what I need to do. All right, I need improved health regeneration. This one is going to upgrade my hull. I can do that for a change. No, I'm a stealth guy. I need my shield. Well, it's a hull generation. Effect radius. I need rapid fire that increased velocity. Yeah. Did I die? Oh my god. This this was really a bad run. Well, I definitely I I really enjoyed this game. It's it's a lot of fun. And I guess you guys should really try it out. It's it's not that uh, pricey, so it's already available in early access on Steam. Thank you for flying through my speech. And also check out the links down below. There you can see more uh, gameplay and other type of builds of this uh, game. And I'm going to be playing this a lot. If you'd like me to see, play more, leave it in the comment down below and I will definitely do so. And also, if you haven't already, push the like button because it really helps my channel thank you for watching guys my name is Matrice and I hope you guys did enjoy this gameplay so well if you do I'm going to make more so see you all in the next preview of a nice good little indie game see you next time